Gone are the days when candidates were selected by just merely doing face-to-face round of interview. Today, every organization relies on different processes in selecting the right candidate for its organization. And one of the most important aspect of that process is called as psychometry test. Yes, friends, psychometry tests have become the integral part of selection in most of the organization for a simple reason that they want to evaluate the candidate on aptitudinal as well as behavioral capabilities that a candidate bring on the table. The reason is that when you are conducted face to face round, you just share mere your experience and your non-verbal and verbal communication in terms of the selection process. But the psychometry test brings out a lot of things with respect to your intelligence, your mental ability, your attitudes and your behaviors through various situations and questions that are given in the psychometry test. Well friends, my name is Arun Tukral. I'm a life and a leadership coach. And in this video today, I'm going to tell you what is psychometry test, why it is conducted and what are the most important tips that can help you to clear a psychometry test when it is thrown upon you. Because the moment you see a psychometry test, it brings shivers in mind. It just brings that kind of attention that what kind of questions are going to come, how you are going to apply your mind in answering them, are there negative marking in that, a hell lot of questions are running in your mind. Relax and watch this video till the end so that you understand the basic tips and what are the do's and don'ts where you have to pay attention to when you are appearing for the psychometry test. And also don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for more reach and more knowledge content that is coming your way. So what are psychometry tests? Now in very simple words, let's divide the word psychometric into two parts. Psycho means mental and metric means mathematical calculations. So when you are given a psychometry test, the employer wants to understand your mental ability in terms of solving problems or taking decisions. Therefore, whenever you apply for any role and a psychometry test is thrown upon you, the organization will always have certain set of competencies in their mind when they want to evaluate a candidate. The higher the role, the more complex is the psychometry test and the lower the role, the much easier it is. Now, once you finish that psychometry test, your employer will get a detailed profile of you. This is the competencies that they have defined and how you have scored well in those competencies. So the higher you score, the higher are the chances that you create more opportunities for yourself. This also helps in understanding from the organization perspective that you as a candidate is fit for the role or not. Historically, Psychometry tests were used in military hiring or for senior level roles in the management. But as the success of psychometry test has played an important role in hiring the best candidates, it has become so popular that even at the entry level, psychometry tests are now becoming the necessity for the organization to hire people. So having understood the importance of psychometry test, I'm going to now take you through where are, what are the different kinds of psychometry tests and tools which are used at the time of hiring and then we come into the most important tips how to clear them how to prepare for them and how to come out in flying colors now let's come to the part of what are the different types of psychometry test primarily to my knowledge there are two important types of psychometry tests that you may come across at any point of time Number one is called as the aptitude test and the second one is called as the personality test. Now when we look into the aptitude test, it simply wants to understand your mental or cognitive skills to solve different problems and situations provided to you in the test. And generally you will find that they would be categorized into three categories. Number one is called as verbal reasoning where a lot of information is provided to you you need to digest that information and then bring out the right decisions out of the information being given and provided. The number two is called as the numerical reasoning. Now numerical reasoning is all about numbers where you have to go through various charts and bar graphs to come out 
with the right answer given in the problem. The third is called as the abstract reasoning. It is also known as logical reasoning where you will be shown certain pictures, certain diagrams and you have to bring out the logic what would be the next picture or could be the next number against that uh, picture given. There are a few tips that I would like to give you when you are preparing for a aptitude test. There are very high chances that in a given aptitude test there will be right and wrong answers. So think intelligently when you are answering those questions. Number two, go through the test thoroughly and try to cover as many questions as possible. Number three, which is again related to what I said in number two, that these kind of tests are designed that you may not be able to complete it in the given amount of time. So attempt only those questions where you are 100% confident that you will be able to get 100% marks. And number four, these kind of tests require a humongous amount of practice. So the more you practice, the more you go in details, the more are the chances that you will do better in these tests. The number two part of psychometry test, we call it as personality test. As the name suggests, personality test simply means that they want to understand your personality and how you will be the right fit for the organization. Based on the organization culture, your personality test will give a clear picture to the organization that how you will be able to do your job better and gel with other team players. There are different types of personality tests that the organizations use to evaluate the candidates who are applying for the job. Some of the most common names are MBT, which is known as Mayor's Brick Test, also Thomas Profiling, Disc Profiling, and sometimes Gallup Profiling. Now these are some of the most common popular names that I've shared. You can also Google out and find out more such uh, tests that are getting evaluated for the personality assessment. Now there are a few tips that I would like to give when you are attempting the, psych uh, the uh, personality test and answering the questions. Number one, there is no right and wrong answer when you are answering the questions on personality test. So therefore, number two, attempt all questions. Don't leave a single question because every question is linked with certain traits that the test is assessing you. Number three, the questions which are mentioned in the personality test are all about certain situations and times when you have to take decisions. So don't over deliberate about any question, any situation, what you should answer. And number four, which is very important, that is, when you are answering the personality trait questions, think about who you are and not who that role is all about. If you start answering the questions based on the role that you are applying for, imagining that you are in that position, you will become misfit for the role because the psychometry test on personality side is designed to understand your current capability level as who you are. So completely focus on answering the question of who you are rather than who you would be. That is one of the major confusions that a lot of people have when they are answering the psychometry test. Very important tip that I'm going to add here is be very honest, be very authentic of who you are and answer every question with full authenticity because this is what they are going to measure you in terms of your personality profile. In the next part, I'm going to tell you seven important tips that are relevant for giving the psychometry test with your full preparation. Stay tuned. Now I'm going to tell you seven tips for success in clearing the psychometry test. Number one is practice, practice and more practice. I'm sure you will agree with me, the more you practice in answering those sample questions, you will get a fair idea about your current intelligence level and the challenges that, you are, that, that are ahead and where you are getting stuck. Once you are able to practice it, the second thing that you need to practice is all about the time slot because you have to finish certain tests within the given time slot available with you. So the more you practice it, the more you would know that where you are and where you get stuck and how you can overcome it. Practicing can help you in mastering those aptitude tests and also the results when you get, you get a fair idea that what have you done well and where you are not doing well. Number two, find out who is behind the psychometric test. 
Now, it is very important that every psychometry test is given to you. There is some organization which is behind that. It may be SHL, it may be Thomas International, it may be MBIT, whomsoever it may be. Go and visit their website, check out some sample tests which they have provided, go and attempt those questions. Now, once you attempt those questions, you will get a fair idea about the type of question and also the time allocated in those test availability. Basis the answers that you give, you again start getting a picture of what exactly is expected in the real time test that you are going to see on the next day. Tip number three, decide when you want to give the test. Now this is very important because this is a test where you are going to give it online, which means you have the flexibility of time. When do you want to appear for the test? I personally look at it that I look at morning time or maybe early morning time like 6.30 or 7 a.m. is the best time when my mind is fresh and I'm fully productive. So think about what works for you, whether it is morning or even in the late hours of the night, maybe at 12 in the midnight that you want to give the test where you are at a peace of mind. Why it is important? Because once you are giving this test, you don't need any disturbance from all around. Your focus has to be 100% on the questions that are given to you and the answers will come naturally because you are in the flow and you have practiced well. That's how you will be able to finish the test on time with the better scores that you will get. Tip number four is understand the question. Now, once you are ready with the test, you need to thoroughly understand the question. Now, this is different from reading the question. When I say understand the question, go deep inside the question, what they are really asking for and think about the most probable answer based on the calculations or thoughts that you have in your mind. The simple reason is that once you are able to apply the answer on that question, you will have no time of looking back. So it's very important that you need to understand the question in detail before answering. Tip number five is you don't have time to double check your answer. So as I've already mentioned that you have to be very careful when you are reading the question, you have to understand the question thoroughly because as you will start answering the question, there is a time pressure which is growing with every minute and you have to finish up a lot of questions and you cannot be wrong. And if there is a negative marking, you are high chances that you may fail miserably if you don't answer the questions completely and correctly. So it's important that whatever answers that you give, you need to only relook at it the moment you have finished the answering of that question. Relook at that time only because later on you cannot go back. Those were the luxury days in your school days when you were able to write the answers and recheck the answers. In psychometric test, it's all about the time pressure that starts building on. So when you answer a question, immediately recheck at that time and then move on to those questions where you are very comfortable. Tip number six is speed versus accuracy. I'm sure you will agree that any psychometric test is designed in such a way that you have to answer the questions correctly as well as within a specific amount of time. What they are really looking at is your balance of speed and accuracy. But if you think that you can only attempt a certain set of questions that you know and you will leave certain questions will also impact your selection process because as I have already mentioned, the higher the scores you have, the higher are the opportunities you create for yourself. So practice is very crucial. So the point is a good balance of speed and accuracy is demanded for those candidates who really make the cut. They are the one who have been able to create that balance because if you try and attempt more questions, but you are not very sure and you are just guessing the answers, the chances are that you may fail. If you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, you should go and finish that answer as soon as possible. Tip number seven is ask for feedback. Anywhere, wherever you are giving any psychometry test, it is your right to ask the employer to give a detailed feedback to you or share the psychometric profiling report with you. A lot of good companies do share the profiling sheet back to you so that you can understand. So whether you make it or you don't make it to the final interview, you still have the results with you. And there is a huge amount of learning that you can take out of that report because your self-awareness will grow in terms of the areas that you have done really well 
and there are certain areas where you could not do well and probably when you go for your next interview having known about your strengths having known about your weakness you can reflect a lot of good things in that interview discussion that how you have been able to do well what are the strengths that you have basis of that report well i'm sure these seven tips would have given you a clarity about how you need to prepare successfully for your next psychometric test it is so important that today psychometric test has become a very important tool for your selection don't miss it try it practice it and the more you practice it the more better you become in answering those questions and clearing the most important and the final round of your interview i hope you would have liked the video the content that i have shared on this do share your comment below and send your feedback on the future content that you're looking forward to that i can come back to you for your better preparation and for your success thanks a lot